Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going grocery shopping and I thought I would show you what it's like grocery shopping with how picky I am and everything else. And of course, Betty's here. He's mad because we went through Walmart and didn't stop at Walmart and he's upset. And mom's here. Hi guys. Mom got a new phone. It's a fancy one. It's a fancy one. <laughs> I'll show them your face, the back one. Look how pretty that is. And she's really excited about that. So yeah, so we're just gonna go grocery shopping. I thought that I would show you guys what it's like grocery shopping as an autistic person. Okay, so like we went to Aldi's and then I got really, really overwhelmed because of how many people were there and how many choices there were. And I had no clue what to pick or anything because I'm not used to having that many choices and then also just all the people I was very overwhelmed um so I did film two minutes of it but then I just stopped filming randomly because of the fact that um I was overwhelmed and anxious so yeah it was a whole thing but we got salad there we got some fruits there we got some snacks there i got banana bread um so yeah we just got a lot of different stuff at uh, yeah so when we got home this is a fast motion of me cleaning the um pantry out because it was annoying me because everything was just wherever and not organized. Um, and I like things to be organized. And then when I hold random things and talk, um, it's me asking my mom. And my mom's the one who's in the fridge and freezer. And that's why the fridge and freezer keeps opening and closing because she was organizing those. Um, but yeah, so I had to clean it all out and um, reorganize everything just so that I it wouldn't drive me crazy anymore because it was really annoying me that it was not organized. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so we're back at Walmart because we forgot to pick up Beast's ice cream, which is very important because I promised him that I would get it for him. Beast is not with us this time because it's really hot out and he was just very hot and tired, so he's at home taking a nap. But yeah, we forgot his ice cream. I was extremely overwhelmed. So, yeah. I don't know why. Oh. Because we did a whole month's worth of shopping um, at once, and it's new for me. Because normally we just do like one thing at a time, and they come back every single day, like it says in my report. Um, so yeah, oh mom's here. Hi. So yeah. So we're gonna go get Betty's ice cream. And a clear tablecloth. Yes. So, yeah. Alright, we're getting 
Easter's ice cream now. We just have to find it. There it is. See, there's also... But there's also only four, so... Am I getting one or two? got Beast's ice cream. This is the type that he really likes. And it's a good treat for him. And it's dog- Sorry, almost dropped it there. <laughs> and it's dog safe, so. Because he's allergic to, um, human ice cream. We tried giving him vanilla once as a puppy, and he threw it all over mom's car. So we've never given him ice cream since. But this one is really good. And it's, um, peanut butter and cheese flavored. So yeah so while we were checking out i saw a dog in a shopping cart at walmart walmart is not a pet friendly place please do not bring your pets to walmart and and also it is very unsanitary to have a dog in a shopping cart and it's not a service dog because service dogs are not allowed in shopping carts and it's literally illegal to have them in a shopping cart like it's against the ada so yeah, just got really annoyed about that. So I'm glad I didn't bring Beast this time, because I don't know if that dog is dog aggressive or not, but I don't know why they put it in a shopping cart. And the reason why places like Walmart aren't dog friendly and only service dogs are allowed is because they have food, and it's actually against um, health regulations to have animals where there is food. Service dogs have to be groomed and kept extremely clean in order for them to be allowed out in public. So, it just annoys me when I see people um, bring dogs that are not service dogs into places like that because it puts people like me who have a legit service dog in danger because if I'm there with Beast, this time I didn't have Beast, but if Beast was with me, and this has happened in the past, and there is a dog that is not a service dog that goes after Beast, Beast is not going to be paying attention to me and is not going to be helping me and doing his job. He's going to be more worried about the dog that's coming to attack him. So, please don't do that. Thank you. Just wanted to, just wanted to rant about that because I hate when people do it and it makes me really upset and angry as someone with a legitimate service dog. So, yeah. Thank you for listening to my rant.